Is it thy will thy image should keep open my heavy eyelids to the weary night? Dost thou desire my slumbers should be broken while shadows like to thee do mock my sight? Is it thy spirit that thou sendst from thee so far from home into my deeds to pry, to find out shames and idle hours in me, the scope and tenure of thy jealousy? Oh, no. Thy love, though much, is not so great. It is my love that keeps mine eye awake mine own true love that doth my rest defeat, to play the watchman ever for thy sake. For thee watch I, whilst thou dost wake elsewhere, from me far off, with others all too near. Man, this is a sad sonnet. You know, it reminds me of sonnets 27 and 43 that we looked at earlier, and that it's dealing with this theme of insomnia. But those sonnets were about a kind of happy insomnia, you know? Like, I, I can't sleep because I can't stop thinking about you. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to be with you. Whereas this sonnet is dealing with a kind of sad insomnia, you know? It's, it's more like, I can't sleep because I can't stop wondering where you are and what you're doing and who you're doing and why you're with them and not with me. Uh, it's in this sonnet that Shakespeare finally voices that realization of, I love you more than you love me. And that's a tough pill to swallow. And I, it's very sad. I, I don't envy him at all. That's a sad position to be in when you realize that. Um, I want to take a moment to get a little bit nerdy and just talk about um, Shakespeare's rhymes for a second. Um, usually, Shakespeare uses perfect rhymes, but in this sonnet, he uses an imperfect rhyme. Um, if you look at the first quatrain, he rhymes open with broken. Open and broken sound similar, they're near rhymes, but they don't rhyme perfectly, like say night and sight. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this and saying, well, Sarah, pry and jealousy don't rhyme, and neither do elsewhere and near. Fun fact, they used to rhyme. The dialect has changed. So uh, a lot of Shakespeare's rhymes, you'll look at them and be like, well, those, those aren't perfect rhymes. What, what, what is that? Um, the Elizabethan dialect that he was writing in was actually much more similar to a modern day Scottish or Irish brogue than it is to the, the British RP that we're used to hearing. You know, um, uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. You know, you don't, the, the, the received pronunciation uh, that the Royal Shakespeare Company uses is actually much further off than even, uh, even our American dialects are to what the Elizabethan actors would have sounded like. Um, so, you know, pry and jealousy, it sounded more like that. Um, it, I, I've seen sonnets where he rhymes love with remove, so it must have been something more like love and remove, you know? Um, so just, just a fun fact. I find that fascinating. Um, anyway, that's all for today. That's Sonnet 61. I'll be back with more, to mo more tomorrow. Um, stay safe, everybody. It's getting really scary out there, and I love you all. Please, please, please take care of yourselves. Much love. Stay safe. Bye.